Good day, kids. Today we're going to discuss TL6 Agriculture Module 4, Lesson 10. This is Teacher Sandy Singh. Let's begin. Our topic is all about preparing layout design of an orchard garden. Before we proceed, here are the list of words that you might encounter that is hard to understand. Let's get started. Cultivation Defined as loosening and breaking up or tilling the soil. Intercropping is a multiple cropping practice that involves growing two or more crops in proximity. Irrigation is the artificial process of applying controlled amounts of water to land to assist in production of crops. And the last one is slope, a surface of which one end or side is at a higher level than another, a rising or falling surface. So let's proceed with our topic, preparing layout design of an orchard garden. Preparing the layout of an orchard is very important. The arrangement of seedlings of fruits bearing trees must be carefully done to put the plants at the right distance according to the layout of proper development and for accommodating the required number of plants per unit area. The proper orchard layout has the following privileges. Number one, allow equal distance for each tree for uniform growth. Number two, allow easy orchard management like cultivation, intercropping, irrigation, spraying of plant protection chemicals and growth regulators, harvesting, etc. Number three, proper utilization of orchard space, avoiding wastage of land. Last, helps in proper supervision and management of the orchard. Next topic is the spacing of fruit trees. The provision of ideal spacing of trees is one of the most important aspects in a successful fruit production. If the spacing is inadequate, the fruit trees will grow poorly, produce small quantity of fruits with low quality, and will suffer from various diseases and insect pests. On the other hand, if the spacing is too wide, there will be wastage of valuable orchard land without having any direct benefit on the ultimate yield of the orchard. Ideal spacing is therefore desired so that the fruit trees may grow and bear fruits properly. Let's proceed to the next topic. Layout of an orchard garden. An orchard's layout is the technique of planting the crops are in a proper system. The method of planting to be adapted is selected after considering the slope of land. Purpose of utilizing the orchard space, convenience, etc. There are six methods of planting that are recommended for fruit bearing trees. Square method, rectangular method, triangular method, quincox method, hexagonal method, and 
contour method. Square method. It is the simplest of all method and is adapted widely. A plot is divided into squares and trees are planted at the four corners of the square in straight rows running at right angles. There are advantage of square method. Number one, irrigation channels and paths can be made straight. Next is easy cultivation, spraying and harvesting, and better supervision. Disadvantages of square method, limited trees can be planted in a given area and a certain amount of space is wasted in the middle of four trees. Next is rectangular method. A plot which is divided into rectangles instead of squares. And trees are planted at the four corners of the rectangle in straight rows running at right angles. The same advantages which have been mentioned in square method are also enjoyed here. The only difference is that in this method, more plants can be accommodated by keeping more spaces between the rows. Advantages of rectangular method Irrigation channels can be made in length and with enough air passage and possible for intercropping. Disadvantages, on the other hand, Limited trees can be planted in a given area and a certain amount of space is wasted in the middle of four trees. Let's proceed to the next. Triangular method. In this method, trees are planted just like the square method but the plants in the second, fourth, sixth and other alternate rows are planted midway between the first, third, fifth, and such other alternate rows. This method has no special advantage over the square method except providing more open space for the tree and for intercrops. Advantages of triangular method are the following additional income can be earned from the filler crop almost double the number of trees can be planted initially and full use of land is possible disadvantages of triangular method of course skill is required to lay out the orchard Trees in between may interfere the growth of the main crop and the spacing of the main crop is reduced if filler crop continues to grow. Next is Queen Cox method. This method of planting trees is like the square method except that a fifth tree is planted at the center of each square. As a result, the tree number in a unit area becomes almost double the number in the square method. The additional tree in the center is known as filler. All right. Advantages of Pinkas method. Additional income can be earned from the filler crop. Next is almost double the number of trees can be planted initially and full use of land is possible. Disadvantages, skills is required to lay out the orchard. Trees in between may interfere the growth of the main crop. Same with the previous uh, method. And the spacing of the main crop is reduced if the filler crop continues to grow. 
Next, hexagonal method. It is a tree that are planted at the corners of an equilateral triangle and thus six trees from a hexa hexagon with the seven tree at the center. This method is generally followed where the land is costly and very fertile with enough provision of irrigation water. Advantages of hexagonal method Ideal for fertile soil and with source of water. More trees can be planted. Same distance can be maintained. Next, more income can be obtained. Of course, there are more trees that are planted. Disadvantages of hexagonal method. Difficult intercultural operations and skills, of course, is required to lay out the orchard. The last is the contour method. It is generally followed on the hills with high slopes. It particularly suits to the land with undulated topography, where there is a greater danger of erosion and irrigation at the orchard is difficult. Advantages of contour method is number one, can be utilized in hilly areas and in leveled land. Next, help controlling soil erosion. Next, helps conservation of water and easy path for movements on the hills, slopes for various tasks in the orchard. Disadvantage of contour method Difficult, uh, difficult laying out of contour lines and time consuming requires skills and instruments to make contour lines lay out the method and not equal row to row distance and adjustments may be required in the plant to plant distance let's remember Good site preparation and layout are extremely important in successfully establishing fruit planting. Eliminating potential problems before planting will reduce money and effort needed in later management practices for this long-term investment. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned a lot. Until next time, bye!